Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Zinematics has just had an amazing update. This is incredible. It's one of the coolest updates in iOS history. I kid you not. Right, let me explain. Zinematics used to be free. Now you buy it, right? If you don't already have it, you can buy it and it's 99p, 99 pence, right? Or 99 cents, I guess, right? I'm not sure or whatever. Then you used to, when it was free, you could then go and buy one of the 61 packs and it would have cost you loads and loads of money to get them all. However, now, once you buy the app, you get everything for a one-off fee of $19.99. Let that sink in. You get everything. Look, look. Let's open this here, right? And let's go with uh, the sample libraries. I've obviously got them all installed. You get everything here now is $19.99, access to everything. Now, I think this is a limited time deal. I don't know what it's going to go up to, but you buy the app for 99 p then you have a, a one-time purchase of $19.99. Now, some of you may be thinking, well, I've already bought some of these packs. If you've already bought two, three, or four of them, depending on how much it adds up to. All you need to do then is hit restore and you'll get everything for free, everything. So if you've already bought some of these packs, right? And it, I guess it adds up to more than 1999 or whatever. You get, get every single thing free. Another awesome update, right? And I haven't done this yet, but another awesome update is storage place. You can choose from local storage, or an external storage. Now I have a uh, Samsung T7, so I'm going to be putting everything on there, right? So that's massive because Zinematics is huge and it takes up a lot of space on your hard disk. So if you've got an SSD, you don't need to worry about that, right? <laughs> it's awesome. And it's lush. So $19.99 gets you absolutely everything. So we are going to be playing with... Loads of sounds. Because they are amazing and now accessible to everybody for the whole thing, you know, which is absolutely awesome. It's brilliant. And like I said, if you've bought some of these in the past, you can now get everything for nothing. Well, not for nothing, but if you've got two, three or four of them, you can hit restore and it'll give you access to all the libraries you can download. wheel controls your big slider here on the rainbow it glides between these patches depending on how you have this set if this is set like this then it'll just play one at a time Now, if you want to control any of the individual instruments, right, you click on this and you'll see, well, this will stay on. But if I click in the middle now, these will all turn green. And if I click here, they'll all turn blue. So which means that you can control the individual levels of each independent instrument. And the panning, reverb, etc. If you hit shift, you get some more stuff like the cutoff, transpose, pitch effects. If you tap on the middle here, you can get into where the hair mode tuning is, which gives a more natural feel. If we engage everything here, and I just go all the way up to the top. And of course, it's an AUV3 as well. Brilliant. 
So obviously it's it's uh, just a, a, a super bargain now. Just a mega, mega, it's a mega deal. So down here, right, we can select individual sounds from any of our install stuff. So maybe I could change this one here to one of the creepy pads. Maybe this one, I don't know. Let's hit done and see what that sounds like. Let's go back to the beginning. Oh, this is calming down. And maybe we could change out one of these to say, if we go show library, we can choose smallly install stuff. Or if we go show all, we can choose the individual packs. Like if I go with blending mystery, what's this momentary? Hit done. And now I'll fade between this creep calming down and I'll change this as well. I'll just flick this one like that. See what it's like. Now, because I've made changes to this, in fact, let's make a few more changes. Let's maybe go have this as a airy dreamer, one of these, and these dreamy synth bells sort of thing. I've got it on multi-layered here. Let's go in and here and have a look at, say, um, flying effects. I don't know. Okay, that'll do it. So now what I've created here. A new multi. I'm going to save that multi. I'm going to tap on this here and just hit save. And I'll call this uh, so we can see it near the top. A what? A1 effects pad just for fun and hit save here and now it changes the name to the multi and we can go in and <clears throat> there it is at the top so if i choose this multi now I go back to the multi I've just made, which is the A1 effects pad. See, it's remembered everything. Now, this is very cool, but one of the coolest things about Zinematics is it has seamless sound switching, which means you can swap between presets and the sound won't cut off. So if I hold this C for example, and I change the multi, or the sound. See? Seamless sound switching. Lovely. Now, let me go back to that one that I've just made. This here, this is your live performance section, okay? Now, you can assign any of your multis to any of these, right? This, they've been populated, of course, for you to start until you get to H, and that's empty. So, for example, if I go back to tap on the icon here to go back, and I want to assign my A1 effects pad to live performance pad H1. All I need to do is long hold this. And it brings this up, right? It goes, well, where do you want to set, set, 
a set list slot. I'm going to tap on this and I'm going to go down to the bottom here where it is and which is this, which is H. I'm going to tap on that, right? And I'm going to go give it a color. So, right, okie dokie. And we'll give it this nice kind of orange color. And go save. And if I go in here now, you'll see that it's been saved. And if I go back to, say, my H here, and we can move these along. I'll go to G, choose this acoustic guitar. I'll quickly choose another one while I'm playing it, and you'll see what I mean about seamless sound switching. There's my there's my pad that I've just made, which is lovely. Okay, so covered the basics there. Let's spend the rest of the time listening to some of the multis that are included. Now, if you click on this, apart from the one that I've just made, all of these come with Zinematics, right? Now, of course, each one of these is customizable. You don't need to use multis. You could just use single sounds, for example. Uh, maybe just go here and... Maybe find something from the bell and tube category. Blending mystery. And don't forget, these are seamless sound switching as well. And that's just one patch of a possible three. And don't forget, like I said, but you can change the reverb as well. There's tons of types of reverb. You could change it, say, a plate, a large plate, increase the reverb level. Uh, I'm doing this on this, actually. So let's go to this large plate and... Increase the overall level of that patch. And if you like it, you can make it, you can save it to a multi and it remember all your settings and stuff. Right. All that being said, if you want to play with the on-screen keyboard, tap on that and it'll make it smaller and bigger if you're in standalone mode. And you can move up and down octaves here. You can randomize everything here. So you see everything will change. Let's So you can just, that's on single mode, right? So. Or we can do the stacked. It's incredible. Right, so I'm going to shut me gob and go through a load of these um let's start near the, let's start from this addicted to love
you want to MIDI learn any of this stuff, by the way, all you need to do is long hold on and a particular control. And then you can hit this twi twiddle the controller knob or slider or whatever, and then you've set it up there. It's done. Sounds are amazing, they're just incredible. It's a really good idea to make make up your own multis it, it's apart from that it's really good fun going through all the sound sort of thing so <clears throat> say for example you might want a kind of a um maybe maybe like some sort of piano sound so let's try this maybe a piano and pad type sound there for this one and let's set this on. Oh, that's a cool sound anyway, isn't it? Nice. Well, let's change it. Let's maybe look for something more. Uh, uh, oh, something like. Uh, let me just do this by hand. We've got some. Uh, noises, nature, maybe some phrase choir. Let's see. Let's try this one. Okay, and for our last one. Maybe some... God, it's the choice. See, maybe some metal effects. What's this? Oh, yeah, let's do that. So now let's start with our. Our glass, our grand piano and pad. Let's bring in the layering. sounds you could play with for ages I, I love the mixing and matching stuff it's really cool anyway let's get back to sort of well then where were we far up around here somewhere right um 
Oh, what's this?
Espere. Guys, I, I, I've literally barely scratched the surface here. There's so many of them. If you, I mean, it does everything. Uh, you know, synth sounds, orchestral sounds, special effects, cinematic stuff. Anything you could really want, you know. And it doesn't have to be extreme, of course. So, it, a bit high there. If you've watched this, Vera Premier, thank you very, very much. Please strike that like, subscribe, all that other cool stuff you can do. I will play with this for another five minutes or something like that. While you say ta -da to each other. Go and get cinematics because you know now it's going to cost you a maximum of a, of twenty dollars or twenty quid or something. And don't forget if you've already purchased there uh, up to like two, three, or four of the packs, you get the rest for now. <clears throat> and if you haven't purchased it, you're just going to cost you twenty quid. Anyway, I'll see you guys later today.